Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. Today we're at the new and used uh, brokerage at Mercy Marina, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. And um, Shane knows them quite well because she actually used to sell some boats for them back in Dunchurch, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I so did. Yeah. We spoke to Ian this morning and he's kindly letting us have a look around some new wide beam boats. Which so is we really thought, nice. Yeah, mm. so we thought we'd share it with you, we'd show you some differences. Um, um, kind of give our opinions on the differences between a wide beam and, yeah. a, and a narrow and let you decide which one you think you'd like best. Absolutely. Shall we go and have a look? Yeah, let's okay. do that. Well, let's go. <laughs> okay, so the first boat we're looking on is a two bedroom. It's called the Hoxton. It's 65 foot by 12 foot. So let's go on and have a look. Ooh. <laughs> so step onto the, this area here. Now the immediate thing that you see here compared to a narrowboat, is <laughs> how much room you have on the... Uh... Yeah, it's like another room. It's a conservatory, really. Yeah. Um, they'll, there's quite often you can get tables that get set up here, and you can see how many people you can sit around. Yeah. Um, so the outdoor space is great. Um, and even when the weather's bad or cold, you could put a little heater out here, and you could just use it as an extra room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can dry your clothes out here, which keeps it out of the boat, which is also a nice thing to be able to do. Yeah. And there's also loads of storage underneath, yeah. isn't there? Yes, I yeah. imagine so. Yeah. So the engine would be under our feet. Yeah. Um, you generally steer by a wheel, although there is an emergency tiller pin, and some people prefer to use the tiller. Yes. Um, it's a bit more responsive, I think. I, you know, I don't do the steering, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Yeah. Some people like a tiller. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't mind a here. I'll just show you the controls. So you've got your normal thrust mechanisms here, your switches, bow thruster. This shows you whereabouts the rudder is. Uh, your canal line control panel and the wheel. Yeah. So. And if you look from here, can you see the end of the boat? It kind of gives you an idea of the view you'd have if when you were cruising. Yeah. Uh, which is quite big isn't it <laughs> yes <laughs> compared to, to the narrow boat it's, yeah, it's a, a lot big old, bigger uh, it's a big old boy 65 foot 12 foot wide yeah but on the wide canals and on the rivers um it's absolutely fine you've got no issues whatsoever mm. it's just on the the narrower canals yeah. some you're not even able to get onto and obviously where you've got locks and they're a single lock you wouldn't be able to go through the locks there either yeah um so when you buy a narrow boat you need to look at your cruising area ability um, where you want to be, where you want to go, um, and take that into consideration. Cool, shall we head in? Yes, yes, let's, After go, in, you. let's go in. After you. I already love the wood here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw that already. I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. So we drop down straight into the living room area. If, you, if I come and film it from this way, yeah. you can see the, that's where we came down. So, a little sofa here, which looks quite comfortable. Yeah, and quite often people will put a sofa bed in there as well. Gives you an extra, yeah. extra space for somebody to sleep. Yeah. Um, it's about as big as our living room, room was on land, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I, I said to you the other day, the, the boat is not much smaller than the, the apartment yeah. that we lived in. No, that's right. And it, it's not a matter of... Could we live on one? Because we could easily live on yeah, this. Yeah. In fact, I think we could live in a shed. Yep. But uh, <laughs> it's not could we live on one, it's would we live on one, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's what we're here looking at. But <laughs> the uh, the wood effect walls is, is quite nice. Yeah, I nice. like that. That's quite nice and textury. Um, TV, shelving. All very nice. Log burner. Even a little desk area look. Yeah, somewhere to work is um, quite handy because a lot of people will work from the boats nowadays, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. That's so we've got nice. a breakfast bar this side. Yep. We've um, got a lovely countertop here. Yep. For us, half the kitchen is used as a uh, craft room, isn't it? Or craft, yeah. craft storage. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's lots of storage for whatever you want to put in it. It yep. doesn't have to be kitchen stuff, obviously. Yep. Um, but if you are foodie, there's plenty of room here to prepare and, you know, yeah. Your meals and everything. Yeah. There's probably a dishwasher somewhere. That's a freezer. Pizza. Yeah. Oh, I love Ooh, these. Yes, little. Oh, I dream of these. Oh, you, oh no. <laughs> look, you love these things, look, don't you? Look, you can get to the back. You can climb. 
clean it. Oh my god, that's so much. <laughs> oh, I love um, them. <laughs> I'm sure there's a dishwasher somewhere. There we go. Dishwasher. We got a dishwasher. Yeah. And this grey, I love this grey. Yeah. Charcoal grey is really nice. Covers, bin. Yeah. Don't know what this one was. What was this? Oh, washer wash wash dryer. Woohoo! <laughs> Full oven so cooker. This, um, this wood shelves door above. Yeah. Goes all the way through. It's all the way through. Okay, let's go down. Okay, so I. And this is actually it's not it's not uh, wallpaper. Oh. It is actual. Mm. It's wood. Look at these. Oh yeah, very nice. That's really space saving, isn't it? Yeah. Having a sliding door. Yeah. So I'd say this is the second bedroom. Okay. Come in and have a look. Yep. Again, still a double bed. Yep. Wardrobes here. Yeah, shelving. There'll the, be storage uh, under there, I would have thought as well. Yep. Decent size. It's TV point up in the wall. Yep. Very good. Next we have the bathroom, which is extremely luxurious. Come and check this out. Oh wow. <laughs> I love the tiles. So, the got a cool. lovely size bath. Well, I'm not sure how practical it is to use a bath. It takes a lot of water. Yes. I guess if you're on a marina and you've got endless amounts of water, then, you know, having a bath regularly is yeah. okay. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, this is gorgeous. But yeah, look at the... Uh, <laughs> Equipment. Um, so our bathroom on the narrowboat is not much bigger than this shower. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Really? No, that's a... Not much bigger. <laughs> Two-person shower. Hello. <laughs> and you can uh, walk through a little walking wardrobe into the bedroom there, but we'll get to that. Ah, we? so you've got two access points into this bedroom. So if you did have bathroom. guests... Bathroom. <laughs> if you did have guests, yeah. you can access the bathroom and they can access the bathroom. Yes. I presume you can lock... Yes. Whichever door. Yeah, I'm sure. You need to. Yeah. It's got a sliding door in here too. Yep. Wow. And then into the end bedroom. <gasps> and that's lovely having that view. Yeah. Out of the window. Whatever view it might be, not necessarily just the marina. Yeah. Now, whatever you think about wide beams, you can't deny that that. You would love that bed <laughs> because that is a probably lifts up, I don't know. Yeah. I don't There'll worry. be storage under there. Yeah. <coughs> that is a good sized bed. Yeah. And you've still got room either side to to get out and have do a cup whatever. of tea. Yeah. Yeah. We can't even have a cup of tea in bed in the narrow boat, can we? We've got nowhere to put it. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there's, there's your window, it just looks out the, out the front. Lights above, little corner tables. Sorry for swinging the camera around, I don't want to get anybody dizzy. <laughs> and that's looking back down the boat. So this little space is a dressing room. TV. You've got a hang rail. Yep. You've got drawers. Walk-in wardrobe. Yeah. On a boat. A little space for your shoes or yep. whatever. Always. Hanging round each side. And then back through to the bathroom. Uh, wow. So I'd say that's a good. So these are Collingwoods. Both boats we're looking at are Collingwoods. They are, they? yes. So this is two bedroom. 65 foot. Just a little look back through the uh, kitchen and living room. I do like the decor, I have to say. It's very nice. Yeah. These. Oh, there we go. Just storage. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. supposed to be handles on there, they just haven't got them on at the moment. Yeah. Lovely. So, okay. let's check out the next one, shall yeah, we? Yeah. Okay. What were your thoughts on that? Um, well, the space is always lovely compared to um, a narrow boat, having yeah. that much room to move about. Yeah. Um, they're, they're kind of like apartments on water, really, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Um, and I love the decor. Yeah. I love the way it kind of flowed, every, how all the rooms kind of flowed into each other, yeah. and the two ex ex entrances yeah. <laughs> into the bathroom was really good too. Yeah. 
So um, yeah, oh, I yours. liked I liked that. Lovely boat. Yeah. Let's go on to the next okay. one. So the next one's a one bedroom. Yep. So oh, let's point out the difference between the um, yeah the, the stern. So this has got like the square back on it, and, and this bit. one's rounded. So the might fit, it might feel more spacier. Not that that one didn't feel spacey <laughs> in this one, but... Uh, so this is called the Euro Cruiser. Yep. It's, um, it's another, it's 60 foot by 12 foot. Yep. Um, okay, so let's come on here. Okay. So what is the difference? Is there a benefit between a square back and a curved back? No, well, no, not particularly. No, okay. So already I can see this one... It doesn't seem to have. I think it's a bit shorter, isn't yeah. it? Well, yeah. Well, it is. It's five foot shorter bow. Yeah. But so that's where you kind of lose. I that. agree. The curved one felt bigger. Yeah, a lot, lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing on a boat how much. Like, if you're on a narrow boat, three foot makes such a big difference. And yeah. People will upgrade a boat just by two or three foot. Yeah. Just because it gives them that extra space, and it really does make a big difference. Yeah. But still, this is still enough room to socialise, to use as a separate room. Yeah. Um, have a sundown. Yeah, absolutely. The controls are exactly the same as the other boat. And you'd and have uh, the tiller as well. Yeah. And the engine would be under our feet. You can often, there's quite a lot of storage in the engine bay as well, actually, isn't there? Yeah, although you're not supposed to put much down there, but anyway. <laughs> oh, look, this has got a posh control panel here, look. The, uh, That's a lesson <laughs> in itself. Storage in gubbins there. down there. Yeah. Yeah, storage. Oh, there's quite a lot of stuff in here actually. Yeah. But um, quite often steps just are for storage. Yeah. There you go. Little one at the bottom there. Okay. Well, let me come down. This is a slightly different layout because as you come down, you oh, you get in straight into the kitchen. So. So again, love the decor, love this kind of dusty, dusty, yes. dusty blue. Yeah. And I like this fruit bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just go down here and uh, you can... Uh, so again, full oven cooker set up. Now the question is... Oh, mate, that'll be the what? dishwasher. <laughs> Do they wash your machine? Wash your dryer. Do they have my special drawers? Fridge, fridge, freezers. Ah, no, they haven't got them in this one. Oh, that's it. We're so not having this one. Obviously, all the <laughs> all the lovely little luxury bits yeah. will add a cost on, won't they? Yeah. Um, and you can have a boat made to your specific specifications. Yes. So if you wanted those draw pull out drawers in all your cupboards, um, yeah. you can you know you can get it. You can get whatever you want if you want to pay for it. Yes. Mm. Butler sink is that what they call a butler yeah, sink? Yeah, butler sink. And, uh, and large, a larder, I'd say, or craft larder. store. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you go and head down there. <laughs> so again, another nice roomy living space. The yeah, now th this the one, down there. the living room feels bigger. I think the the kitchen is much smaller, but the yeah. living room is. Yeah, and we've got the different decor, so we've got a cream. So whether that kind of opens out yeah. the inside, even though the other boat was white, you know, kind of white and grey. Yeah. Um, it might reflect the light a little bit more yes. with the cream. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Imagine uh, sitting yourself down there and yeah. looking Something over the nice telly. Put your wood as well. That's always handy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's very well done. Mm. So this was a one bedroom. Yeah. It's a one bedroom, but yeah. It? <laughs> it's a double sink. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> boat design is different yeah. and when you're looking for a boat it's best to come and view as many as you can mm. because you'll get an idea of what you must have what you can kind of live a bit without yeah. or what's completely you know yeah. it's just a wish um, and you might be able to work up to but looking at as many boats as you can is the best thing to do yeah whether it be a wide beam or a narrow boat yeah I'd say two sinks is a little overkill. Well, it's extra cleaning, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> as big little, a, big little, old shower again, yeah, there. Yeah, as little cleaning as possible for me. Yeah. <laughs> you going first? No? I'm going go first. first yeah. Okay, so this is the main master bedroom. Yep. So this time the bed goes off to the side. Wow, yeah. Um, 
and you've got doors out to the bow. So you've actually got, you haven't got the view out the back of the bed, but you, you know, you can open that out, have yeah. coffee out there, which is nice. I like that. I like, I'd like to be able to sort of yeah. sit there chilling on the bed, bed and, and, and <laughs> open the, open the doors and let the breeze yeah. in. That'd be lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Whole bank of wardrobes there. Yeah. Nice little side tables, but again, big, big bed and just <laughs> plenty of room to get in and out, really. Yeah. A little, little step there with some storage. And um, I think this is a like a work desk or a, you know. Dressing table, darling. Dressing table. Oh, sorry, darling. I don't know what one of those is. Um, yeah. So again, there'll be storage under the bed. Yeah. Um, so another really nice boat. Very good. There's no de denying that the um, the luxury of them and yeah um, the ability to move out about without sort of treading on people or yeah. or dogs or whatever. And it's easier if you've got if you've got stuff if you've got a flat on land and you need to bring a lot of that stuff with you or you yeah. want to bring a lot of that stuff with you it's much easier to fit it on a wide beam than it is a narrow boat. Yeah. On a narrow boat you have to make major um, decisions on what you want to keep. Yeah. You can put things in storage, obviously, if you don't want to get rid of them, but, you yeah. know, you have to get rid of a lot of stuff on a narrowboat. Yeah. But for us, it's not a problem, because we're not stuffy people. No. Unless it's cross stuff. Yeah. And wool. I, I <laughs> just think it would be more space for you to make a mess of. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me so well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, absolutely stunning boat, whether, whether you like wide beams or not. Yeah. Um, you can't deny that the... The yeah. fit out and the and the things that they put on here are absolutely lovely, and um, like I said on the other one, I could easily live on one. Yeah. But would we live on one? I remember saying to you back in the beginning that if we had enough cruising, we got an we'd start off with a narrow boat, we'd do all our cruising because yeah. the idea was that we wanted to see a lot of the canals. Um, and then if we decided we still wanted to live on a boat, but we didn't want to cruise and we wanted to live in a marina, that's when we'd consider a wide beam. Sure. sure. Because we wouldn't have to worry about moving it too much. Yeah. So I think that's... Yeah. Yeah. But knowing us, we'll be in Spain or Alaska or I don't know, <laughs> living in a hut somewhere. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So watch well, this space, you never know where we'll be. <laughs> let's just flip this on and we can get me in the shot here. <laughs> So there we go, folks. That's um, a couple of wide beams that are at New and Used. New and Used Boat Company. Mercy so and Marina. Can, yeah, Mercy and Marina. You can find them online. All their boats for sale are online as well. Give the guys a call. They're really helpful if you want to come down and view them. Also make an appointment. Yeah. Um, and they'd be happy to show you around. Yeah. And if you have any interest in them, please come down and see them. Tell them, tell them you saw us. <laughs> we'll get a gold star. And <laughs> that's all, right? <laughs> And uh, they'll be happy to show you around, and it's <laughs> they're really worth um, visiting to have a look at these boats because they they are lovely, whether you like wide beams or narrow beams or both or what. But it's uh, they're they're beautiful boats. <laughs> but um, yeah, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that little video, and um, we'll see you all soon, won't we? We will. Bye. Bye.